UBC is one of the first 5G partnerships we signed in Canada about three years ago. It's part of a multi-million dollar investment we're making with some of the leading institutions in Canada for research and development, specifically with 5G. We're thrilled to look at some of the great stuff they've been doing. My current research is focused on new digital frontiers in the minerals engineering space. The ultimate purpose of my lab is to perform world-class research and come up with both theoretical concepts and practical real-world solutions that will enable digital transformation in extractive industries. And by doing that, we hope to improve not only their operational efficiency, but also sustainability across their value chains. All early adopters of autonomous trucks have designed and deployed their systems using Wi-Fi communications. Compared with Wi-Fi and other communication options, 5G can simultaneously support different services with very different requirements. Each of these services will have its designated network slice, which will provide whatever level of privacy and security is needed. Only 5G can comfortably handle the most demanding bandwidth, latency and positioning requirements of autonomous trucks. This is an autonomous haulage vehicle. It's a miniature version of a real haulage vehicle. We have a multitude of sensors on board. We have a LiDAR scanner. We have a 3D camera. We also have a GPS. And we have the 5G module to connect to the Rogers network. And all of these sensors are connected to our onboard computer. And we also have a bunch of predictive maintenance sensors such as humidity, vibrations and luminosity. The goal is that we have multiple trucks that can operate efficiently and move around the test bed with pedestrians walking by. I'm very proud to say that our 5G testbed is the first of its kind in North America. The testbed includes five 1 to 14 scale hydraulic mining trucks and each truck can be loaded up to 100 kilograms and can be used both on the road or in off-road conditions. We have selected our testbed location to resemble an open pit mine environment. The trucks start their journey at a hypothetical mine site and then they follow a predefined route which is approximately 200 meters long to a location which represents a primary crusher or a minerals processing plant. For the environmental perception and mapping, the raw sensory data and odometry collected along the path are sent to the MEC or our lab where we process them on our HPC servers and these data and results are returned for the truck to execute. This process also generates a 3D point cloud, which we later use for offline calibration and further training of our self-driving algorithms. The predictive maintenance component was envisioned as a massive Internet of Things use case. In this use case, we collect in real-time sensor data about truck's key performance indicators. Our machine intelligence algorithms are trained to spot incipient problems and respond preemptively. This timely detection of potential problems is extremely important because failures of mining trucks can cause enormous costs on the orders of millions. The low latency service enables almost real-time processing of vehicle sensor information that can be used to optimize trucks and provide a safer and more secure working environment at the mine site. If we are considering autonomous mining operations, which are usually in remote areas, there are numerous benefits to private 5G networks. These benefits include availability and expandability of the network, especially in the areas where the core network is not available. We can directly control and monitor the private network, which leads to more secure and resilient network performance. The right partnership means everything, and collaborations between companies like Rogers are critical drivers for the innovation. In our specific case, our partnership is creating a foundation for the next generation of 5G-enabled digital solutions for the mining industry. And we hope when these solutions are deployed, they will improve an overall sustainability score of the mining sector and enable smart mines of the future.